Hello everyone. I'm excited to celebrate someone who needs no introduction in the world of informatics, research, and industry. Atul Butte, you are an inspiration to me personally, to researchers around the world, and to everyone who has had the privilege of working alongside you. You understand the importance of translating findings and analysis and converting data into information, knowledge, and wisdom. Morris Collin would be proud indeed. Like him, you have shown a commitment and dedication to informatics that have made a lasting impression on this exciting field. We just need a hundred more tools. Congratulations on this much deserved honor. When I first met Atul, it was him, I think, interviewing me to see if he wanted to work with me or perhaps to convince me that I should work with him. Not that clear. But what was clear to me was he was an incredibly dynamic, insightful, energetic individual who had a lot of the skills and insights of a computer scientist as well as a biomedical researcher and clinician. I first met Atul back in the 1990s at the Children's Hospital of Boston when he was a resident. One of the things that I remember about that time was he was a really eager and very intentional big thinker and it was easy to remember having met him. Atul is probably the leading voice in our field for leveraging clinical data for discovery. Because of his deep knowledge of computation, because he's savvy and smart about the politics of health data, because he has a deep respect for clinical practice, he's able to find ways to leverage clinical data in the service of new knowledge. I think for a tool, we need a new word other than dedication, because he is just at the next level in terms of the productivity and impact that he has had. I was actually lucky to be able to give a keynote at Morris Collins' 100th birthday party back in November 2013. I got to meet him, and I have pictures of him blowing out his birthday cake with a hundred candles. And to think of the impact he had on our field, but his impact in all of medicine, and then to win an award with his name on it, is just absolutely still stunning to me. Coming to Stanford in 2005, a tool set up his lab with an eagerness to use clinical data, molecular data, and eventually public data. And his idea of using this publicly available data to create new discoveries, integrate with other data sets, I think has absolutely transformed our approach as a field. I would dare say that he changed the field not only for health informaticians who got to know better the importance of computational biology and bioinformatics, but also for those who are computational biologists and uh, bioinformaticists to know also how important health informatics and clinical informatics is. He has pioneered uh, approaches and really demonstrated in a scalable way how you can take vast uh, and, and disparate data sets, bring them together, and uh, make them available uh, for further discovery in a way that simply wasn't happening, even though they've all been out there, uh, and many of them have been widely available. He was able to bring these together, and importantly, not only create the resources so others could leverage them, which is incredibly impactful, but show us the way in his own science and his own work by demonstrating the ways in which to do it and then standing in front of groups again and again and saying look i did it you can do it too he is a smart savvy person who has really helped advance our field at a time that we didn't realize how fast it needed to be growing. Over time, he has moved more and more centrally to using clinical information in combination with genomic information or on its own to better understand the health experiences of individuals, of community, and of populations. So I, I see him traveling this arc 
from genes up to society. And I think he's delighted in every step along the way. He's really focused on how do you package and deliver these types of insights to all of the diverse decision makers that need them in order to make a difference in how we deliver care. And I think if anything, that is the unique place where a tool has set the gold standard. Not just how do we harness data, not just to how do we use the right methods to interpret that data, but how do we actually explain it to the people that matter, care providers, patients, clinical executives, policymakers, and all the other people that really impact how care is delivered every day. If you want to change the world, you can't just keep writing papers about it. If you've actually invented something, if you've discovered something, then it's up to you to make sure it reaches patients, families, healthcare providers. Maybe it's through your university or institution licensing it out. But if no one's there ready to license it in, it's up to you to figure out how to get it to patients. And sometimes that means starting a company. One area where I've really admired the tool's leadership is academic industry collaborations. A tool understands that academia can discover new solutions and new sciences, but it really requires commercialization to deliver those solutions to patients on a widespread basis. While we were at Stanford together, he co-founded three companies, Numedi, Personalis and Carventa. And of course, his better half, Jenny, ran one of those companies for quite a while. What inspires me most about Atul and his work is that he exemplifies exactly what I look for and what society needs in its biomedical informaticians. That is not only technical brilliance, not only vision, not only the ability to fundraise and bring teams together, but the ability to ask important questions. He asks the questions. He's not just answering them. And that is an act of scientific leadership that I believe is essential. I remember that early on, a tool's work was team-based before a lot of us recognized the importance of multidisciplinary teams and research. And that was another one of these things that inspired me, bringing the right group of people together not for papers that have 300 authors, because in some way those are easier, but instead the paper that has the right 10 authors. And he's done that many, many times in his career. Atu's publications in scholarly journals are numerous, but more important, they are impactful. And the impact is so that they were picked up by lay press articles in New York Times, Wall Street journals, Wired, and so on. So I think he not only has been a tremendous researcher, but an ambassador for our field. Throughout all my years working in informatics, I still have to say my greatest achievement was the time I was able to spend with hundreds, perhaps thousands of trainees and colleagues and friends. Maybe I was able to influence them a little, to be a maker, to be a creator, to be a doer, and to share that love of this field of informatics with others. The other advice that the tool has given me, um, which has been really influential in my career, is to think big. And in a particular, it was clear that he came to UCSF because of the opportunity to do work at a large level of scale. Uh, he gets so excited when he talks about the number of lives and the number, the amount of data that he's been able to harness being part of the UC system. I love my work. I love talking to people, mentoring folks, but still the little introvert in me still loves that I get to write software code. Seriously, I feel like every day that I get to go to work and to talk to people is a treasure. I don't take any day for granted right now. Of course, I love spending time with my family and friends, but I actually like work as well. I think one of the most important things that a tool has shared with me is that all things being equal, you should spend your time on problems that really matter. Not on the things that may seem important at a particular time and place, but what's gonna have the greatest impact on patients or populations. The world doesn't necessarily always need yet another downloadable software tool or another website but the world can also really depend on us to figure out what are we gonna do with our tools and how are we gonna use them to make those discoveries and inspire 
and help others to take care of patients, to understand the world, and leave it in a much better state.